Camworks gives you the ability to preview what your machine is going to do before you even begin cutting a part. It allows you to see the movement of the tool and a preview of the finished part. This can be extremely helpful, especially when working with complex features which may require some adjustments in the operation or feature parameters. Just like when creating toolpaths, you can simulate toolpaths for individual features by right-clicking on each of them and selecting Simulate Toolpath or for the whole part setup. I can click the Simulate Toolpath icon or I can also right-click and select Simulate Toolpath. This is the simulation toolbar which has several options for the playback controls. This icon on the left enables tool simulation which allows you to see where exactly the tool is going. The icon next to it enables turbo mode which simply shows you the finished machine part. Turbo mode can save you time on complex parts if you're not concerned with viewing the actual toolpath and just want to see the finished result. For now, I'll use tool mode to show you some more options. These are the playback controls. I can run the simulation for each step in the toolpath, or I can use this button to run the entire simulation through the end. Pretty cool, huh? If the playback goes too fast, this slider here can be adjusted to slow it down. This button will return the simulation back to the beginning. The drop-down box here gives us even more control of how to play back the simulation. I can simulate to the next Z-depth, next toolpath, next operation, next tool, or all the way to the end. I find it helpful to use the next operation selection to play through each full operation. I can see here that I have a bit of a problem with the way this part is being machined. Remember when we defined the boss feature, we defined the end condition to be up to the top face of the part, not the top of the stock. Since we're seeing this boss feature come before the face feature on the top of our part, we could potentially have some serious problems. In the next lesson, I'll show you how to reorder these operations to fix the problem. For now, let me show you some more simulation options. This button allows you to save JPEG images of any step in the simulation and can be used later in your setup sheets. The icons along the bottom control the appearance of the items you see in the simulation. You can adjust the appearance of the stock, the tool, the tool holder, and the part you're machining. You can set each of these to shaded, wireframe, translucent, or not displayed at all. These buttons allow you to see any collisions that may occur with the tool holder or any fixture that you may have set up for a part. To view the coordinates of my cutter head, I can click on the cutter coordinates icon. When I click it, the message window appears. And as I run through the simulation, you can see the cutter coordinates appear. The Options button provides a convenient way to access the Simulation tab of the Camworks options. But keep in mind, any changes that you make here will not take effect until you close the simulation window and restart the simulation. You'll notice that when I make a change, Camworks displays a message window reminding me to do this. Another nice feature in simulation is the ability to show a comparison between the part we've machined and the part as it was originally designed. This time, I'll run the simulation in turbo mode. I can use this button here to do the comparison. The color code lets you know if each feature was overcut or undercut. This feature can be extremely helpful in determining if you need to adjust any of the operation parameters. By the colors I'm seeing here, it looks like I do have some adjustments to make. There's one more thing I want to show you with simulating toolpaths. That is, the ability to step through toolpaths. If I close this simulation window, I can right-click on the part setup, or individual items in the tree, and select Step Through Toolpath. Here, I can specify how many steps we will increment per click, and in this box, I can specify how many toolpath segments will be displayed on the screen. As I step through the toolpath, notice there are two colors on the screen. This lets you clearly see the plane that is being cut on, and the path of the tool itself when it is not actually making a cut. As you can see, simulation can be extremely helpful in making sure your program output is correct before you begin machining. Let's make some adjustments to our setup to fix the problems we saw in this simulation. 